the world is basically not a very fertile place left to itself. Most of the world is a bit nutrient poor most of the time. And therefore, most of the world's plants have evolved to grow in those kinds of circumstances. And one of the problems with the modern world is it's too fertile. Agriculture is just spreading nitrogen phosphorus around the planet like there was no tomorrow. And because that's what you do if you want to grow crop. Why is that a problem? That's a problem because the a relatively small group of plants, this is a major conservation problem in Britain in particular, not just, every, not just everywhere, but you can see it on the ground in Britain. There's a relatively small group of plants that are equipped to exploit those very fertile conditions. Most of our flora is adapted to low fertility, relatively undisturbed conditions. So agriculture, lots of disturbance, lots of nitrogen, lots of phosphorus is very bad for the great majority of flowering plants. And that's why the farm, the intensively farm landscape, oh, it's so dull, really. You can, what can you do about that? Difficult, really. You do, if you have a small country with lots of people and you don't want to import all your food, which would only be exporting the problem anyway. Yeah. You need agriculture and you need moderately product productive agriculture so that farmers can make a living. Now, there is a little bit of a trend towards not just achieving productivity by shoveling on yet more nitrogen and phosphorus onto the land. Because what farmers are beginning to notice is that eventually doesn't work very well. 